Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you so much for coming by for another No BS Social Media Chat. We've been doing these, I don't want to call them gatherings, but I've been bringing you these updates weekly for almost four years now. And going back to episodes one, two, probably three, there's been a mantra, there's been a message, there's been one thing that hasn't changed. Sure, the importance of some social media activities and some social media efforts and things have changed over the years, but the one thing that hasn't changed, social media is a marathon and not a sprint. Now again, that's not to say you can't grow very quickly. I had an artist the other day released a video with 20,000 views almost overnight. That's quick. They only added a couple thousand more by the end of the week, so it is a slow growth at the end of the day. Now you know what, maybe you get lucky, you have a, a video that goes to a million views in a week. How long is it going to take you to get to two million? It's a marathon, it's not a sprint, and that's just something we have to deal with. That's just, well, it's a truth, and, and that's the, well, frustrating thing about social media. I've had more meetings with prospective clients, with existing clients, and we talk about where they're falling short on social media. And they say, well, I'll start that tomorrow. And I said, well, there's your mistake right there. The answer is going to be, well, I'll do that right now. And I don't care if it's, you know, working a little bit more on Twitter, posting some videos to YouTube, whatever it happens to be, don't wait until tomorrow. Because the best day to start something on social media was yesterday, or the day before, or the month before. Because every day you delay, every day you wait is a day you've lost. And so you're not starting the marathon until later than somebody else. It's harder to grow a following on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, well, on YouTube especially, now than it was a, a few years ago. You know, I wasn't one of the first people into Facebook, all the college students were, but when marketers started coming in, when people started using it more for business than they did just for reconnecting with school chums, well, that's when people realize the earlier you get in, the earlier you can make an impact. YouTube the same way. I look at my YouTube numbers on a, a variety of channels that I produce videos on, that I maintain for artists, that I maintain for small businesses, and we're not getting the numbers we were five years ago, six, seven years ago. Um, because it, it's more of a novelty then than it is now. It's a part of, of everybody's existence, but there are also more videos to wade through on YouTube than ever before. I see the same thing with Instagram. I'm a big fan of Instagram. I still love Instagram, but I'll be the first to admit I don't post as much on Instagram as I did six months ago. I've been busier trying to do other things, and I just haven't had time to, well, promote me. I haven't had time to, well, enjoy my hobbies. It's been work, 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 and work for artists, and work for clients, and, well, hasn't left me much time for my fun stuff. But the one thing I've noticed, I'm not seeing the growth numbers I used to. Sometimes I could grow 100 followers on Instagram in a week. Now, if I grow 10, I'm pretty happy. And again, I'm not posting once or twice a day. Maybe now it's down to you know, two or three days a week kind of thing. But I think that's the problem, is, is the later you wait, the later you well, hold off doing something on social media, the longer it's going to take to get there. Yes, there is something you can do that can get an immediate spike, that can, that can well, move that marathon into a sprint. But as we've always said with running a marathon, there are those parts of the marathon that you run quicker, that you're picking up your pace, and there are those you just kind of guide through, you kind of, you know, struggle through, if you will. That's social media in a nutshell as well, too. I mean, sometimes, depending on what's going on in the world, what's going on in your life, there are going to be slower times. But if you're waiting to make a change, if you're waiting to step it up, if you're waiting to improve until tomorrow or the next week or the next year, it's going to be too late. So start now. Think about that now. Time is ticking, literally. That's why I always joke, everybody wishes you a happy birthday on your birthday. But you're getting a day older, or an hour older, or a minute older, every single minute, every single day, every single week, every single year. Age is a relative thing. Sure, it's nice to be noticed on your birthday, but at the same time, it's, it's the same for everybody. We're all moving around the sun at the same speed. Time is ticking with social media, and if you haven't posted something, somebody else may be in that slot. You know, with, with things like Facebook, the, the longer your page has been up, the longer you've been interacting with more people, the longer you, the better you have a chance of, of being in their feed. Same thing with Google. When we really break it on a big side, you know, you get not bonus points per se, but Google takes into effect how long that website has been active. It's tougher to get high visibility on a brand new website on Google, unless you play some games, than it is for something that's been there a long time. I've got some web pages that, that truly get good results on Google just because I've had them for six or eight or nine years. It is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Well, I think we almost say that almost every week here in the no BS updates, but it's the truth, and at the same time, time is ticking. So if you've got some social media goals, if you've got to well, start stepping up your social media game, don't wait until tomorrow. In fact, when you get done watching this video, go post something on Facebook. 
go interact with somebody on Twitter. Post a picture on Instagram. Heck, post that picture on Instagram and on Facebook and even throw it on Twitter. I don't care. At least it'll get you started. And when it comes to YouTube, regular content is key. You know what? You can save it for one big video every month or two or six, and you'll have a nice little spike, and it'll go right back to where it was. You've got to keep posting. You've got to keep being interactive. You've got to keep that clock ticking for you to improve. Back next week, another No BS Social Media Update. No BS Social is our website. Of course, if you found us on Facebook, we'll be back there. If you found us on YouTube, we'll be back there. And of course, NoBSSocial.com each and every week. All the episodes right here. See you next week. You want me? Phone number, email address coming up. Thanks.